Welcome back to Brazen Brits, my name is Lawrence. And I'm Natalie. And we may have found our new rig. It really makes me wonder. Yeah, it makes me wonder. Oh, I wonder. Oh, I just wonder. Right, this is the Coachman Encore 375 RB. Is that right? Correct. RB is for rear bathroom, but there is one particular thing about this rig that I love. So, we're gonna do a real quick look around on inside, then we'll go outside and then uh, we'll score it on our scoring system. So, this is on a Ford chassis. It's got auto leveling. It has this bunk that comes down, which I think is auto. I don't know where the button is. <laughs> it's a class A cab. We do also have this here, which I do like these. Most of class A's have these, so you can work along if you're just typing and stuff. This isn't the best editing setup for the videos because you need like a mouse and I usually have multiple monitors, but uh, this is perfect for, for just working or if Natalie needs to do something whilst I'm driving down the road. Um, all right, then as we swing around, kitchen is very nice. Actually, I will say everything else is very nice. It is, good quality, yeah. Extra bit of uh, stuff there. Ooh, weight as well. Whilst we're here, do you see this? Mm-hmm. What is it? So this is like an accent roof light and I don't know what button he pressed. Ah pretty it opens up. So this is a so this will let the natural daylight in. So you'll find the reason why they do this is because this gets really really hot. Like this morning it's like 10 a.m and it's like 105 already. That's why we have the generator on but this is all open and then this is a sunshade so that you doesn't heat up the rig because obviously otherwise it's just like a, uh, a greenhouse. <laughs> Dinette obviously goes into a bed as they all do. Um, oh, that's really nice. Yeah, that is. That isn't just like they've cut a hole out and just put a door under it. So that's actually really nice. That's all uh, fabric. Uh, we've got this, you've got the two blinds, the blackout blind and the uh, fly screen. Here's a nice bag. Thank you. It's Natalie's. Uh, so again, we have storage under here. And then, this is a sleeper sofa, I believe. TV this is placement. A, all of this is fabric as well. It's not really, oh, I mean, it's nice. good. Well, hopefully it won't peel like the other stuff. Let's then. hope so, yeah. So. TV placement is good. TV placement is excellent yeah. here. And I kind of skipped the kitchen oh. bit here. So there is a bit more here. That is the sink. <laughs> Double sink, it's just one big sink there. Uh, loads of cabinetry. Soft clothes, this is going to be power. Nice. It's always handy, love those things. No well. oven. <laughs> there is no oven, just drawers, and that looks like the furnace underneath there. Three burner. Whoops. Wait, what is that? It's oh, okay, that off. comes off. Yeah. That's weird. <laughs> I mean, I want to drive down that way, it's class A. I'm guessing this is going to be a convection. Yep. It is. Love the lighting, no floor vents, pretty huge fridge, it's taped shut so, no it's not, it just has a tape on it. TV, liquor cabinet, fireplace, okay bathroom. Oh Matt you would not be happy with this. No remember there's two. Oh there's two, okay. Uh, oh dear. I mean honestly it's not bad. <laughs> It's not bad. If you're on the bigger size, you would struggle in here. Um, yeah. That's not it's good. I, I guess that's the Florida heat. Uh, and we have a cabinet. Nice sink. Nice that's sink. Closet. Yeah, loads of drawers, blah, blah, blah. All right, that's all good. So right. here's the unique feature. Here's the unique feature. This is a bunkhouse. Or a storage area, I guess. But. The biggest difference with this, so this is a bunk, you can lie on here. I'm going to guess this is about five and a half feet. Um, so an adult would struggle. Natalie, you'd be fine. Uh. But, check this out. So that goes down and it becomes an office. So this is a little bit more space in the front. A couple of issues here. One is the sun is coming right in on me right now. So I'll do the blackout. Well, that makes a huge difference, actually. <laughs> um, and the other thing is there is no AC coming in here. No. So we do have the generator running. We do have the AC on. So sorry Boiler about the noise. Alive. 
so yeah, I, it's not a huge amount of space. Again, I couldn't get double monitors here. I could, I'd have to put them one on top of the other. Mm -hmm. So it's okay as an office. If you, if I need to do some like work calls and stuff, it's, it's pretty cool. But it does mean that there's nowhere I can set up to. So we'll much. say it's a stable door, which also means it is. it's, you can, um, oh, it's got a little latch on. You can still hear everything. That's the only downside to that. Yeah. And there's okay. a gap. Off here. Oh, yeah, great. All right, to the bedroom. All right, huge closet here, no washer dryer hookups. And then, okay, on the right here, we have some little drawers, stuff, little area there, TV up here, which is cool because it means the TV isn't there. Uh, yeah, loads of cabinets, that's all obvious. King bed. King bed. There is nothing on the side, so, so if you had a drink, what uh, would you do with it? Um, so that that would be annoying. That There's literally annoying. nowhere to put your drinks. But there's plenty of room to change. There is loads of space in here, and the dogs can lay here. Yeah. And then uh, there is a CPAP thing under there. And then. Whoa. Oh my gosh. That's a lot of storage. You could get a whole other family in here. <laughs> Look at that. That is amazing. Well, anyway, okay. This is probably more storage than our rig has everywhere. Yeah. We could fit our entire rig in here, I reckon. <laughs> right. That's crazy. Okay, and then the rear bathroom. We do have the AC on, so I'm gonna shout a bit louder. Uh, all right, the shower. Again, I'm getting bored of RV bathrooms. They're all the same, really. I mean, it's a nice effect and everything, but it's the same idea. Well, These are all nice. You can fit under the shower, that's the important thing. Yeah, height-wise, there's loads of room. That's fine. Uh, nice sink, and then this is there is a floor vent here, that's great. Oh, there's two. One here as well. Um, I mean, this is pretty good. Yeah? Yeah, even for a bigger person, you'd be fine in here as well. Um, it's nice. You've got a little shelf here to put your drink and stuff, so. All right, should we give it our rating? Well, let's go outside first. Oh, okay. All right, so we are right next to the road and we left the generator on in the rig. So uh, hopefully you can hear me okay, but this is the outside. So uh, that's the front. Let's go around. What does Matt do? <laughs> Please don't do that. Okay, one huge slide down the side. Then we have access to uh, stuff. There's not really much in there, big gap. You can see the, the landing pads and stuff. Loads of, loads of storage, and that goes all the way through up and over to the other side. Bit of a, that's your slide controls in there, but again, more storage goes all the way through. Uh, okay, your wet bay. Have our septic hookups, the water inlets, uh, winterizing. Has a filter, that's nice. Yeah, they yeah the car they seem to always have a whole oh, household filter. That's cute. Yeah. So there's that. Have our exhaust, then we have the generator exhaust. So I'm assuming this is the generator. And Stan turned the generator off for us. That's interesting. Well, it's not an Onan. Yeah, true. Uh, so anyway, okay, well, 5,500 watt generator, that's cool. Uh, okay, power, get hook up. Again, this goes all the way over to the other side. Oh, the rear, this is the rear bathroom septic uh, with the black tank flush. Gas fill up, this is a gas coach, not a diesel. That's a towing pin, towing connector, ladder that starts from the bottom. I think these are going to be very similar, so that's just a storage bay. All the way through storage. Propane. Nice. Water heater, awning, awning on the slide. Power outlets. Storage. Storage goes all the way through. Storage goes all the way through, and that looks like an inverter. A couple of Victron things in there. There's a ladder there for the bunk, I think. Nice. And then TV. Yep. Again, we don't use the outdoor TV, so I'd probably take this off and use this as a tool rack to mount the tools and stuff. And then we have the uh, that's the uh, water, I think. 
One thing I do love about their fancy coaches is uh, steps come out. Did you see it? Yeah, very cute. All right, my favourite part, the scoring part. But first, let's talk about the price. What did he say this was? It was up for the sale price, I think, was about 175 Oh, okay. That's not terrible. So, not bad. It was like 260000 By the way, we're back inside where the AC was on. So, yeah. <laughs> All right, let's score this. Okay, quality. Excellent, Excellent. I think. We're what do you think? Do like nine? an eight or a nine? Because the latch and stuff didn't work over the there. The latch is so a bit that's, funny that's over a bit there. Naff. But everything else is fine. So, what do you think? Eight or nine? Eight. Okay. All right, attractiveness. This looks really good. I've seen better class A's at front and the back. Mm -hmm. Some of them look a little bit more aggressive and stuff. So I'd probably say attractiveness. Inside, what do you think? Oh, yeah, I love the grey. It's just a light grey. Agreeable, Agreeable grey. Um, so yeah, I don't know, maybe a seven? Yeah, okay, I agree. Uh, ease of transport. Uh, I mean, it's a big coach. Mm. But I'd probably say, probably. I mean, it is a class A, so it's easier than towing. So if we consider a massive travel trailer I would say this is about a seven yeah I agree space for dogs loads of loads. space yeah probably what ten yeah. nine we'll give you we'll give you nine <laughs> all right private office space does have space it does it's not great but I would say I mean it's better than some stuff we've seen with none so I would probably say six or seven do you think okay yeah six I would six yeah uh, Socialising. Yeah, nah, not great. Not great. I'll give it a two. Alright. And off grid capabilities. Uh, well, it has the generator, so I'm probably going to say like five, six. I don't TV think it has placement? solar. Uh, yeah. yeah, great. Yeah, it's completely opposite the, the chairs here. Set up and tear down. It should be easy. It's a class A, although there is two set. There is two black tanks, so that would be annoying. So that that we take score off of that, even though that's probably a pro in some reasons. But to actually set up and use this, so I would probably say I don't know, maybe a a seven. It's got auto leveling, everything else, but All right. yeah. Give it a seven. Oh, I've got an eighty-seven there. Oh my goodness! Oh, I'm messing I'll this up. All right, seven. All right, we're done. Is that everything? Yeah. All right. Well, we hope you enjoyed this. I, I'm going to think about that office and see mm. how, how useful that would it's actually be. It's a consideration. Be. Yeah. So anyway, thank you for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Hit the thanks button. Natalie loves it when you do that. And if you'd like to become a Brazier and support a couple of tits, Natalie and myself, you can hit the join button. We will see you next week when we have something very interesting that we're doing. If it, if it pans out. <laughs>